I'm still just a little bit confused about what changed between 1 p.m. on Friday and around 4.30 p.m. on Friday to go from we're not raising the refugee cap to we are raising it by May 15th. What, what changed in those three and a half hours? Well, I think as I just outlined, we never said we're not raising the refugee cap. In the morning we said, actually, and with the information we put out was that once we reach 15,000, we will raise it. That was not accounted for in some of how people were, di let me finish, some of how people were digesting the information. And we wanted to be clear and send a message that we are a country that is welcoming refugees. Let's be clear, we are changing the policies of the last administration. We are changing the policy of not welcoming in uh, people from Africa or people from the Middle East. That was the biggest factor preventing refugees com from coming in during the last administration. So are you saying this had nothing to do with the pushback from some Democrats? on Capitol Hill, from Senator Dick Durbin to Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I don't think you've articulated to me what our change in policy was. What was our change in policy from the morning the to the afternoon? The executive order from Friday morning mm -hmm. said that the admission of up to 15,000 refugees remains justified, period. Um, and yes, there was a caveat that you could raise that cap later, but I mean, it, it explicitly That's a pretty important right caveat that if we, when we reach 15,000, a subsequent presidential determination could be made. And again, then the why, biggest challenge, the biggest challenge, the, the biggest, the biggest challenge, because people weren't understanding what we were conveying to the public and weren't conveying what we were trying to project to countries around the world. And it's incumbent upon us to make sure there's an understanding of what the president's policies are, what he's trying to achieve, and what he feels morally is that we're going to welcome in refugees from around the world, change the policies from the past administration that where they were not welcoming in refugees from the Middle East and Africa. And that was important to him to take that first step and move it forward. The line said the admission of up to 15,000 refugees remains justified. And Can the, you understand how some people would interpret that? Well, uh, I think we all have a responsibility to provide all of the context. And so what I'm conveying is that we also included would also is reached that a subsequent presidential determination would be issued to increase admissions. And again, the battle is not the cap. The issue has been the limitations that have been put in place in the past. We overturned those and changed those, and it was always meant to be a first step. So back to my other question, mm -hmm. does this have anything to do with the pushback from Democrats on Capitol Hill? I don't there think was... you've articulated what our change in policy is, so That's go ahead. That's not my job to ahead. do that. That's well, not my job to do that. It is if you're asking a question. I, go I'm ahead. asking about the pushback from progressives on Capitol Hill. But what, what, that... what was our change from the morning to the afternoon? The change from the morning to the afternoon was that you explicitly said the admission of up to 15,000 refugees remains justified, and in the afternoon you said that the president would be raising the cap on or before May 15th. In the morning we also said that if 15,000 is reached, that a subsequent presidential determination would be issued to increase admissions. That was not clearly understood. We felt it was incumbent upon us to make sure people understood and were clear that our objective was to welcome in more refugees and we, we remain committed. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Drone Tech here. I just want to remind you all that tonight, April 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be having a live Discord debate on the topic of equality versus equity. It's going to be a four-person panel with Robert Noir, me, Sondasol, and Liberal Cluck. We're also going to have a guest moderator, Samantha Banana. I think it's going to be a really interesting debate because the left really seems to be in using government to enforce what they call equity. And I think it's a big change from what they used to talk about. They used to talk a lot about equality. But it turns out equality is hard because it also consists of the freedom not only to succeed in the freedom of opportunity, but the freedom of failure. Instead, the left now apparently wants to use the power of government to enforce outcome. A place where motivation, creativity, and innovation are dead and mediocrity reigns. So it should be really interesting. I invite you all to come and watch. At some point in the night, we're going to bring in Discord users to chime in and give their opinions as well. You can find all the relevant links you'll need in the description and pinned comment. I'll see you all then.